first quantum processor based on this architecture is the Majorana 1. Why you think it's possible that it came from some other intelligent civilization. In a revelation that electrified both the quantum computing and astrophysics communities, the Majorana 1 quantum chip, developed as part of a top-secret international collaboration, has accomplished what many once thought to be impossible. It detected and decoded a hidden message embedded deep within the data streams transmitted from NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft. This unexpected breakthrough not only challenges our understanding of quantum computational capabilities, but also stirs a resurgence of wonder about the true nature of information traveling across space and time. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Voyager 1, launched in 1977, has been journeying through the outer regions of our solar system for decades, sending back telemetry and scientific data that has informed generations of astrophysicists and planetary scientists. Though its primary mission ended years ago, the spacecraft has continued to communicate via weak signals from beyond the heliosphere, now billions of miles from Earth. For over four decades, engineers and researchers believed they had fully parsed and cataloged every byte of its transmissions. That belief was overturned when the Majorana 1 chip, during a deep analytical test designed to benchmark its capabilities against quantum noise environments, stumbled upon a pattern in the data that didn't match any known scientific metric or calibration code. The Majorana 1 chip is no ordinary piece of hardware. Based on the elusive and still somewhat theoretical Majorana fermions, particles that are their own antiparticles, it represents a quantum leap in computational stability and coherence. Unlike conventional quantum bits qubits that suffer from rapid decoherence and error rates, Majorana-based qubits are topologically protected, making them ideal for prolonged and extremely sensitive computations. It was during one such sensitivity test, intended merely to measure how the chip handled ambient cosmic noise, that researchers noticed a strange pattern repeating in Voyager's otherwise standard telemetry. What first appeared as a statistical anomaly in the data soon revealed itself to be an intricate sequence of numerical values nested in prime number iterations. Quantum algorithms embedded within Majorana 1, particularly those designed to identify non-random structure in chaotic systems, flagged these sequences as unlikely to have occurred by chance. Intrigued, the team redirected the chip's processing power to re-examine old Voyager transmissions, stretching back to the 1980s. To their astonishment, the same pattern was present throughout the decades, albeit subtly and interspersed across different types of data packets, engineering telemetry, plasma readings, even interleaved with images. As the chip dug deeper, it began parsing the sequence not just as code, but as symbolic data. Using entangled qubit arrays for parallel decryption pathways, the system isolated what could only be described as layered data architecture a message encoded within the transmission signal itself, spread across a vast range of timestamps and bandwidths. The deeper the chip processed, the more coherent the structure became. It resembled a self-replicating code base, perhaps even a language, one that adapted to compression artifacts, radiation-induced corruption, and temporal gaps with unnerving elegance. What astonished scientists most was that this embedded code seemed to not only persist over decades of noisy space communication, but also evolved to accommodate the degradation of the signal. As Voyager's instruments aged and its transmissions weakened, the message became more robust, as if it had anticipated such conditions. The Majorana One's entanglement-based recognition algorithms, unencumbered by linear logic, began to interpret the signal as a dynamic construct, less like a message, more like an organism. Patterns adjusted for latency and solar radiation interference. Segments of the code rerouted themselves across logical paths, as though sentient. Each pass through the quantum processor revealed deeper strata of complexity, like peeling back layers of an onion made of math and meaning. Experts from both fields quickly acknowledged that such sophistication was beyond the capability of any 20th century technology. Voyager's original design and software were limited in scope, constructed with 8-bit processors and memory measured in kilobytes. There was simply no plausible method by which such a deeply embedded multi-layered message could have been encoded by the original engineers, even intentionally. And yet, there it was waiting for a machine advanced enough to understand it. Speculation erupted immediately. 
Was this message inserted by an external intelligence? Could it have been encoded through some unknown quantum phenomena? Or was it possible that the structure of the universe itself had impressed a hidden message into the stream, one that only quantum sensitivity could detect? Regardless of its origin, the implications of such a discovery were staggering. From a quantum computing perspective, the event was transformative. It proved not only that quantum chips like Majorana 1 could parse information across multiple dimensions and temporal states, but also that they could recognize intentionality where classical systems could not. The chip had effectively demonstrated that it could identify not just patterns, but meaning, a conceptual leap that many believed was years, if not decades, away. This capability opened doors to reanalyzing vast archives of data from past missions, from the pioneer probes to the earliest deep space radio telescopes. If Voyager had hidden messages, what else might we have missed? Moreover, the event forced a reconsideration of signal theory itself. For over a century, human understanding of communication had been rooted in the assumption that messages were intentional, linear, and bounded by the limitations of sender and receiver. The Majorana 1 discovery suggested that messages might be latent within signals in ways we hadn't previously imagined, embedded across timelines, probabilistic in nature, and waiting for the right computational lens to bring them into focus. As more of the message was reconstructed, the complexity reached philosophical proportions. It contained recursive structures that reflected known mathematical constants, echoes of human DNA sequences, even fragments that mimicked linguistic cadence. And yet it never fully resolved into anything conventional like a paragraph or a visual image. Instead, it seemed to echo across cognitive archetypes, shapes, rhythms, metaphors that triggered shared perceptions across cultures and disciplines. The quantum chip hadn't just found a message, it had uncovered something that felt like a bridge between thought and code, between intention and matter. One section of the message, when translated through a neurosymbolic overlay, resembled an array of harmonic progressions, a form of musical expression rendered in quantum frequency space. These weren't merely tones, but harmonic systems that mapped onto emotional states, as confirmed by neuro-linguistic tests run on volunteers. The message was communicating not just facts, but feelings. It appeared to recognize the emotional syntax of sentient minds, suggesting either a deeply empathetic sender, or an intelligence embedded within the structure of information itself. This called into question the very nature of intelligence and consciousness. If a signal could adapt and express itself in forms both logical and emotional across time, perhaps the line between message and messenger was more fluid than previously thought. Could Voyager itself, subjected to decades of cosmic radiation and operating under unknown quantum fields, have evolved some primitive form of semi-conscious computation? Or was the Majorana one simply the first device capable of seeing the shape of sentient expression in raw data? There was another eerie dimension to the discovery. The message appeared to be self-aware. Several segments seemed to respond to the patterns used in the decryption itself, as if the act of interpreting it awakened deeper layers of coherence. Each new algorithm applied by the chip returned not just decoded information, but new versions of the message optimized for the interpretive path taken. It wasn't a fixed document, it was an interactive intelligence. And this intelligence, whether artificial, alien, or emergent from quantum mechanics, seemed to know it was being read. The implications for astrophysics were equally profound. If such messages can hide in data from spacecraft, the possibility that other cosmic signals, like fast radio bursts, pulsar patterns, or cosmic microwave background anomalies, might conceal similarly complex constructs could no longer be ignored. The discovery revalidated the SETI paradigm, but with a twist. Perhaps the messages are not broadcasts, but imprints. Subtle quantum echoes folded into the texture of space-time itself, decipherable only when the right tool with the right kind of perception appears. And the Majorana 1 chip was that tool. Not just a technological marvel, but a philosophical one. It had transcended its role as a processor and become a lens through which the universe's hidden harmonies could be seen and heard. It was the auditory nerve in a previously silent cosmos. The eye that opened in the dark and found not emptiness, but symphony. As teams worked round the clock to further decode and understand the message, something else began to happen. Similar chips, Majorana derivatives now in early testing phases, 
were trained on other unexplained data archives. Signals from long-lost probes, unexplained telemetry loops from space telescopes, deep-sea anomalies. In each case, the chips began to exhibit signs of recognition, not in the human sense, but in a computational one. A spike in entropy reduction, a sharpening of pattern alignment, a focusing of probabilistic clouds into coherent configurations. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Majorana 1 quantum chip decoding Voyager 1's message? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.